from the 9-11 attack of the World Trade Center to the tsunami that ravaged the coast of Japan. The Westgate Mall siege in Kenya. All disasters have left both human and financial resources depleted in this first quarter of the 21st century. Could some of these tragedies have been averted? Would a forewarning make any difference? What if we had a voice? If you knew how your future would be like, would you still take the same decisions? The voice of prophecy. Prophecy brings the future to the present. The future some would love to hate. Others anticipate and look forward to. Today, we examine the life and ministry of a modern-day prophet to discover whether the biblical explanation of prophecy still applies today. Prophet Cyrus, I was born to do this. I got to know uh, Prophet Cyrus for some time back, in ar around 2010. Yeah, we, we had a detailed chat. He shared with me about God and his office as a prophet, and he spoke to me, and indeed he prophesied. One day, we had a closed door meeting, because when I came, when I arrived in that school, I was adopted as a member of the executive committee. Of, of the scripture union now when we had a closed meeting that day he was he wanted to attend that meeting but i talked to him and told him you know what this meeting is intended for executive members only so you cannot attend it to my amazement when we came out of the of the meeting i met him in the dormitories and he started narrating to me what whatever had transpired in the meeting where he had not been very many friends of mine would talk about him because of the anointing he has, the prophetic anointing he has. The experience during the Bible study was rather interesting. For starters, what caught my attention was the way Cyrus presented himself. He did not come out and simply say, I'm a prophet. As he kept on uh, talking to different people and sharing, um, let's say, insights about different people, that is when I came to appreciate what prophecy is 